Hallelujah. For the life that she lived. For the life that she taught us to live. God, we bless you today. We honor you. Thank you, Jesus, for putting me with her. You did that. And I bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You can be seated. Being a mother is a hard job with people like them. So I made it easy for her. <laughs> a couple of stories I'm going to tell you and I'm going to sit down. Whenever I would call my mom and I'd say, Mama, I need you to pray for me for something. Immediately, she just started praying. And I'm sitting on the phone like, I didn't even tell her what I wanted to pray about. She just started praying. So when she finished, I said, Ma, I didn't tell you what I needed you to pray about. She said, you didn't have to tell me. He already knows. I just needed to talk to him. And there was one time my mother hurt my feelings. Only one time. If anybody knows me, I have a teddy bear that I have had since forever. And I went to the store one day, I was home visiting. And when I drove back in the driveway, Isaac came to the driveway and said, Angie, don't go in yet. And I said, why not, what's wrong? I was probably in my 30s, so that was a long time ago. He said, just, just don't go in yet. Don't, don't go in, you, I gotta tell you something. I said, what's wrong? Mama washed your teddy bear and he is torn to shreds. He has a hole in his head, a hole in his neck. The stuffing is all over the washing machine. I cried like a baby. She said, I'm gonna help you put him back together. And we got some stuffing and she started putting him back together. She said, now get some thread and find somebody else to do it cause I can't do it. And you're gonna sew up his neck and sew up his head and we're gonna make sure he's okay. I'm so sorry, Angela. I did not mean to hurt him. He still loves his grandma. It's okay. <laughs> but that's the kind of mom I had who would pray and mend things for me. I love you, Mommy. Thank you, Angie. I'm so glad that she uh, gave us a moment of worship because I'm about to tell y'all something about Nancy Wilson that you may not know. Now, she definitely raised us on the best of gospel. That is Andre Crouch and the Disciples. That is all things Hawkins. Danny Bell, she loved Danny Bell. Of course, the Clark sisters, Benny Cummins and King's Temple Choir, all of that great music. Not to mention North Carolina greats like Michael Ross and David Allen and George Paz. We were always exposed to great, great, great music. Uh, Anthony McGregor and her favorite of her generation that she loved so much, that Bishop Ralph Donny Graves. Oh, she loved him, she loved him. So we definitely grew up on the best, best gospel music. But I have a little secret for you. Saved and sanctified as she was, she was a Donny Hathaway fan. Cause she was a singer and she knew good singers. So she loved Donny Hathaway. She loved, of course, I was gonna save Stevie for last cause everybody loves Stevie. But Donny, she loved DJ Rogers. She loved Billy Preston. She loved uh, the Gap Band. And she loved Stevie Wonder, let me tell you. Now, I didn't say she went and bought the music. I didn't say she went to their concerts. But if she heard them, she was in a heaven on earth because she loved their music. So she called me one day and she said, you're not gonna hear the excitement in her voice, shimmy shim. I said, ma'am, she said, girl, you're not gonna believe who I just talked to. I said, huh? Who, who? She said, girl, what, what? She had to tell me the whole story. Jared called me. He said, Grandma, I got somebody that wants to talk to you. She said, well, who is it? She said, he said, Grandma, just, just. And so she said, hello. You know, there was a man on the other, uh, other end of the phone. And he said, hello, this is Pastor Nancy Wilson. And she, you know, she had a professional voice. Yes, it is. This is Nancy. 
And he said, well, hello, Pastor Nancy Wilson. This is Charlie Wilson. And she said, um, who, who? Uh, say that again. She said, he said, he said, this is Charlie Wilson. She said, Charlie, Charlie would burn rubber on me, Charlie. <laughs> and then she got real embarrassed because she knew those lyrics. And she said, listen, listen, listen uh, uh, Mr. Wilson, I, I'm a pastor. I, I've been saved since I was 15 years old. Filled with the Holy Ghost. I don't listen to she, everything was rock and roll. If it wasn't gospel or country or jazz, it was rock and roll. I don't listen to rock and roll, but I know you and your brothers. I, I know when I hear good singing, I know y'all were raised in the church. She was so excited to have heard, uh, heard him speak on the phone. And she, she told me, she said, Kim, I lost all my cool points. I lost all my cool points. So we honor her today. Again, thank you to everyone. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank God for her ministry of music that she instilled in all of us, made us sing when we didn't want to, et cetera, et cetera. We love you all. Teddy, you are simply the best. What well, they always save the best for last. All our life, we've always done things in order. So it's always been Angie, Kim, and Isaac, so... I'm the baby, I'm the best. So God bless y'all for being the opening act. I'm the headliner. I've been headlining for a while now. Um, uh, <laughs> so uh, as you know, I was uh, the baby and uh, <sighs> mama used to always work a lot, whether she was traveling, singing, preaching, or working a job. So a lot of times uh, we were home and uh, Angie and Kim would have to look out for me. And they always had an alliance because I was the only boy. So to this day, they have jokes that I still don't know that they used to uh, do on me. And my mom would like, leave my boy alone. And uh, she used to always take care of me. But I want to thank God for uh, all, of, uh, all of you who came, to all of the, the pastors, the bishops, the elders um, who came to um, show my mother love, to all of the family, um, to all of our friends. Uh, James Fortune came in. I love you, brother. Shayla, thank you. Uh, of course, Ty Tribbett, Todd Galberth, Pastor Darius Brooks, my friend, my sister, Tasha Cobbs Leonard is in the building, and my pastors, Pastor Darius and Shamika Daniels, uh, they came in um, to support us. Um, my mother used to always say things like, it's just nice to be nice. She used to always say things like, uh, a thank you goes a long way. And um, we just want to make her proud. Um, I remember when I left home against her will to go sing with John P. Key. She was out of town at a, at a, at a, at a convention. And uh, my mother made a deal with me. She said, I'll let you sing with John on the weekends as long as when Monday comes, you get up and go to school. I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, that, that, that's easy. Until I was getting home Sunday nights at three and four o'clock in the morning, they had to be up for school at seven, and my mom wanted to get up, oh Negro, you getting up. And uh, I thought I was grown, and uh, I remember she went out of town for a convention. I think it was a kosher convention. She went out of town for a convention and I called myself leaving home, moving to Charlotte, and start singing with John P. Key. And I remember it was a, I was so scared because uh, my mother just didn't play. I remember being a grown man coming home with my ears pierced. She said, where's your purse? I said, huh, where's your purse? You got your ears pierced, where's your purse? I mean, just off the chain. She had no filter. And uh, I remember John calling her and said, Nancy, I got him. He'll be all right. And so that's where I met my brother Lowell. I love you, Low. And I met, uh, and as life went on, uh, to my friend who gave us everything for free, Bishop Brian J. Pierce. I love you and Lady Pierce. Um, so my mother named the group Men of Standard. We were trying to figure out a name for the group. And we was like, we had no name. And she was like, Men of Standard. We was like, they got a little ring to it. So she named the group. So she was so influ influential in everything that we did. And uh, we pay homage to, all, to her grandbabies. She loved her grandchildren. 
Alexis, Isaac, Jared, Elena, Nancy. She loved them. They meant everything to her. Um, the way, the treatment that they got, me, Angie, and Kim have no idea where that came from. Um, they got everything. But lastly, as I take my seat, I want to acknowledge Teddy. Um, Teddy, man. I believe that my mother lived as long as she lived because of what you did for her. Now, let me say this real quick. Um, like any family, there have been changes and there have been problems and issues. You got three strong-willed children uh, that, that Nancy raised. So we were very opinionated, uh, all in our emotions. But one thing we'll say here, and we mean this from the bottom of my heart, that we stand with you now and forever. You did an amazing job. We celebrate you. Can everybody stand to their feet and show Pastor Teddy Wilson some love. We love you. We thank you. We celebrate you. And we got you from here. We got you from here. God bless all of you guys. Enjoy the rest of the service.